Hit by the smell of the black powder smoke and the stand in the street at the turn of the joke. Here we are at the Wyoming Territorial Prison State Historic Site here in Laramie, Wyoming. Let's go inside. Well, this is the first time I've been told to go directly to jail. I'm going to not pass go, and I'm not even going to collect $200 this time. Well, there it is. Look at the site. The Territorial Prison, where some famous inmates, Butch Cassidy, was here. We are taking the self-guided tour. And just taking a look all the way around. Got a little picnic area. You come in through the gift shop area, pay for your tickets, $7 an adult, and you walk this road, or path. And we got, you're Butch Cassidy. I'm Butch Cassidy. And we get, I'm Gertie Smith. Gypsy Lynn is Gertie Smith. Let's see, what did I do then? I entered a shoe house to commit a felony. A shoe house? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> and we all know what Butch Cassidy did. She was only 21. Whew. <laughs> right here is the warden's house. We can't go in right now because of the foundation. However, we'll take a look inside. Now this is where the warden and the officers would conduct business for the prison. Man, I can't get over how nice that looks. Bet you it doesn't look nice if you had to stay in here. Well, we're going to the front entrance of the prison. They'd bring him in one of these. Yep, a good old paddy wagon. You'd go in one of these and they'd bring it right in, march you in that front door. Well, let's enter the prison. Right here is the processing room where they'd be photographed, assigned a number, issued a prison uniform, and put on the record book. 1,063 convicts and 12 women realized that they had lost their freedom and identity. This is also where the waiting room area was for visitors. As you can tell, there are some of the uniforms back there. Here's the warden's office where he would conduct his business when he was at the prison. We are locked in now. This, the kitchen, was added on in 1889. Prison trustees would prepare the food and there's a dumb waiter there that they would bring it up the levels. Taking Gypsy Lynn to prison. <laughs> Not what your pamphlet says. Uh, wow. There's some rough characters here. She said this was the dungeon. What did he do? Let's see. William Nash. That's Heard a check totally $36.45 to Robert Smith. He was convicted of forgery and sentenced to three years and cost. Go ahead and get in there. 
There's no sex. Probably not, but... This is the size of the room. Not much. This guy would have a window to look out though, a little bit. Rooms are small. Mm -hmm. I can't get this very well. That's, that is this is considered a north cell block. This was built in 1872 and held 42 cells, 14 cells on each of the three levels. There's a bathroom cell with a bathtub, toilet, and wash basin located on each level. Each cell in this wing consists of six by eight brick enclosures. Six by six by eight. Cells were sparsely furnished, bunks with straw mattresses, a cell bucket, which we know is a pissing pot, chamber pot, and nightstand. You get 20 years for second degree murder. Right there is a murderer. I'll take your picture. Look in his eyes. I know, he's crazy looking. This is what cell construction looks like. The brick line channels situated on this floor in front of the cell walls contained a heat duct allowing heat to flow from the furnaces to the cellar to each cell. The portion of the cell block has been reconstructed to show the construction methods that originally brick walls were plastered and whitewashed applied. There's the heat duct. He shot and killed his 70 year old wife and fled. Take to say. Killed his wife, fled, and they caught him. He said he killed her because she broke his rifle. And then he couldn't go hunting. <laughs> that was mandatory back then. You had to go hunting. But he couldn't fix his rifle. Here's a safe. Are they Robin Hoods or domestic terrorists? That's the question they asked about Butch Cassidy. They also said the same thing about Jesse James. The Pinkertons, National Detective Agency. That's sort of what I probably would have been called back in that time period. I'd have been a Pinkerton. There's some dynamite right there. It'll blow your mind. There's the Sundance Kid. Right here is the brake shoe from the Wilcox train robbery site in 1899. Butch Cassidy escaped and he eventually died in Bolivia. There's the grave of Butch Cassidy that we'll probably never see. That's one outlaw will probably never make the grave. However, this will be the only opportunity I will ever have a picture by this, so we're going to do that real quick. Butch Cassidy and Film Books, History Channels. They even made Butch Cassidy action figures, which I would love to get my hands on that. My goodness. Maybe that's what I can start collecting. Trading cards. Comic books. I may have a couple of them. Here's a bowler hat. Something similar that he would have wore back in that time period.
Here's a prison door from 1872. Butch Cassidy. Who was Butch Cassidy? Was he a Robin Hood of the West or a common thief? A famous train bank robber? Murdering outlaw? Or a domestic terrorist who spurred the largest manhunt of that era? Or a simple ranch kid from southern Utah? On the second level, they have additional pictures and items to look at and learn. Picture from the old days in 1895. Hands on archaeology. Found something. Oh, look at that. I found a cup of it. <laughs> Here's some of the shoes the prisoners wore when they found back in the day. Old license plate or a pottery. Some bones, looks like a horseshoe here. Somebody smuggled in vodka there. What's that? They unearthed Earth's past of this territorial prison in Laramie. What they would do, tie that around the prisoner's leg so they couldn't run off. Or if they did, they wouldn't go very far because one of these would get them. Sure, if that's where the guards would watch out. Each corner of the cell. What'd this young man do? He held people up and stole five hundred dollars from a tourist in Yellowstone. Held him up and got five hundred bucks. This is what you get. I was right. This is a watchtower. This is. Like I'm watching them right now, they would be watching these prisoners. Everybody you watch. Right here's the dining hall. As we saw below, the kitchen would bring this up. They would pull and pull and pull. Bring the food. They would eat here. This was added during the prison expansion. The convicts would eat together. They'd file, single file, to pick up their meal, return back to the cell to eat alone sometimes in silence. This room served as the prison chapel. Here's the guards' quarters. The three rooms on each side here serves as the guards' quarters and prison armory. These rooms have been furnished according to 1897 inventory. The number of guards varied from year to year. As little as six guards in 1873 to 35 guards in 1901, so things were getting worse. Because of the number of guards varied from year to year, the lack of staff was considered to be a major reason for a high volume of convict escapes. Different angle of the guards' quarters. And you can tell there's their chamber pot right there. There's their alarm clock. Right there. Dr. May Slauson was the first female prison chaplain here. She had a love of knowledge. Boy, 
lot of these prisoners found God here. I'm getting gypsy linen. You don't come in here with me, that's correct. <laughs> Could you be a watchtower guard? Not with that toy looking like that. It's all cracked. Got some bad, bad women right here. Like this lady, Stella Gatlin. She served one year and three months hard labor. She was a thief. Got shot a man. Doesn't say if he died. This is shot him. What this old lady do? Annie Curley. Or Annie Curley Johnson. Sorry. Was Annie Curley Johnson. She had a brothel. A brothel? Was that wrong? Let's see here. Arrested for the nature of her business. Well. Poor old lady. She was arrested for selling liquor without a license. That's what they get you on. She was fined seventy dollars. Arrested again for the same thing. <laughs> Little Lily Todd here. Needed money for a drug addiction. A lot of these rifles are Winchesters that they used in the cowboy times. These are Winchester Model 1894 rifles. The actual manufacturing date is 1977 to 79. Oh, we got a 1982 as well. The gold plated one is the one I would like to have. Right here is the infirmary. They didn't have a doctor or stat on staff, so they had to do the best they could. Dennis chair, it looks like they pulled teeth. Right here is the women's cell block. Built in 1889. These were furnished as the same as men, with a third cell serving as their bathroom. Before this segregated section was built, women were housed in North Cell Block along with the men. Usually in the last cell on the lower on the levels. Women got punished just as well as the men. Just as they should. If you do the crime, you're going to do the time. And maybe she shot the man because she didn't like him. <laughs> that don't give you a right to shoot someone. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Depends. You going to shoot me? You going to take me off bad enough? <laughs> right here, we're in the south cell block. This por portion was built in 1889. It has 42 cells. These are smaller, 5x5x8s five by five by than those in the north wing. This last addition to the prison increased the capacity to 170 convicts. Right here is William Herbert. He was a school teacher from North Carolina, and he was a member of the Butch Cassidy gang. As you can tell, you cannot see very well outside this prison walls. Barred up. We're in the prison bathroom. Wooden bathtubs, maybe. Like a clawfoot tub. No, I think they actually... The metal looks the, like it's galvanized. Yeah, it looks like it's galvanized. I mean, I couldn't tell by the lighting there real quick. And they'd have chamber pots and outhouses, porta potties. <laughs> Holes, in <the laughs> Holes in the ground. Where they would do their business. Well, they could at least look out and see the yard while they were doing it. They could. Back then, they would like to have one of these. But they had to do their business in front of everybody. Somebody's going to mark their territory in this territorial prison. She's being timed. You got exactly 15 seconds before the light shuts off. Just the way it should be done in prison. No smoking in there. No smoking in the ladies' room. Her time's almost up. She can't. She's locked. She can't get out. No, I'm trying to 
<laughs> What's going on in here? This yeah. Is this where the, you want to have a visit here? Are we are we doing this here? <laughs> What's that? What's those kind of visits called? Logical. <laughs> huh. Surprised you know what that is. Have you ever had a visit like that? Have you ever been in prison? Right, here's the laundry. Another chore the convicts were required to do. So their clothes. So iron, I, I mean look look at look at that ironing board. I wish my clothes got ironed like that. Do it yourself. There's a washboard. I wish you would wash my clothes like with a washboard. Do it too. yourself. Wait a minute. What are you saying? I can't do this myself? <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You don't know how to work the washing machine the way it is. Nope. Here's E.W. Smith. Here's a small... This is where... The really bad people might have went. Right here's the dark room. This is where solitary confinement was. Right in there, they couldn't get in, couldn't see. No light, all dark. A little bit outside the prison walls here. At this. Wind's blowing a little bit. Not sure how the camera's going to handle this. We're going to take a look. A little bit around. Inside here. Here's the prison industries building. Prisoners would work, make brooms. Prisoners made this bench right here. They put them to work. comment box right there. This is the sheep pavilion that has all the carts. Wagons. We met a fellow West Virginian while we were looking at the brooms. They have a mock-up old West Town right through here. Also an old church. Inside this saloon you can see a couple bars. But however, it is closed. I'll get Gypsy Lynn as she's walking on the old trail. She's going to community hall. She don't have her frilly dress. Very nice. This is de definitely a lot larger than what we anticipated. They have some old cabins here. The old town mock-up. The wind is barely moving this. However, the wind is definitely moving. Church next. 
We're inside the church. Gypsy Lynn is taking pictures. Take a picture of the stained glass. Not quite sure what this is. Ha <laughs> ha